So today I thought I'd film this makeup look using the new Primark Nudes palette, which only cost eight pounds and look how good that is. I love it. I really, really, really love it. And everyone should go get one now before they sell out. So first I'm just gonna start with the Benefit Cabral in the shade five and just do my eyebrows off camera. So I've done my eyebrows and I've primed my eyes with concealer and powder. Then I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette on my eyes, which is from the new Primark Nudes collection. <laughs> Don't do that. So this is the palette and you get 28 shades and this costs eight pounds. This is what it looks like. You get 28 shades and this palette costs eight pounds. This swatch one. And then do a matte shade, so. Look how pigmented they are. They are really pigmented shades. Wow, that looks really good. I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Yeah, that's the one. And then, and this shade here, and just run it on my lid. I don't really need to do this, but I just wanted to use it. Then I'm gonna take my Spectrum BO6 brush, and I'm just gonna take this shade here as my transition shade. And I'm just going to take that in my crease and just blend it in circular motions upwards. And I'm just going to take it in the inner, cor inner corner. I'm just going to blend it in the inner corner upwards. Whoa, look how pigmented that is. Look. That's really good. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, so I've kind of put a bit too much on. But it doesn't matter because I can clean it up. Yeah, so I'm just going to bring it out quite far because I'll just clean it once I've done. And just do the same to the other eye. Primark are like really up in their game. I'm just going to take this brown shade here. It's like a full video of Primark, this is. This top's Primark too. Watch your honey. Take this brown shade here on my Sigma E25 blending brush. So you don't get much fallout really, which is good. I'm not sure if I've got too much on my brush or not enough. Oh yeah, look at that. These are so pigmented. Look at that. These are well good. They blend really easily as well. I think I'm just going to go to Primark and buy all their palettes to do videos on. <laughs> so I'm just blending that out quite far. It doesn't matter if it looks messy. Because I will fix it. I'm just going to bring that under there as well. I'm not sure if I will do a wing or not. That's the situation I've got going on. To do a wing, to not do a wing. So I'm just running that underneath my eye. Just doing the weird look to go along in there. And then just blending upwards. And look how pigmented that is. This is like a Morphe palette. I'm just going back in with the brush I use for my transition shade and just blending over the top of it so it's all blended seamlessly together. Actually, I've just decided something. I'm just gonna get my Spectrum A13 brush with the same brown shade and just pack that on into the inner corner. Because if I'm gonna do a halo eye, I need the inner corner and the outer corner to have lots of brown on. So I'm just packing that on and brushing upwards. We don't need any like in the center of the eyelid. That's where the halo will be like that. I'm actually shocked. Just taking my Spectrum A07 just to blend out underneath. Taking the brush I used for my transition shade. Just blending that all together. So I'm just going to take this brown here which is kind of a cool shade one compared to this one which was quite warm which is the one we just used on my Sigma E25. A different one. Oh that's got more fallout than the warmer tone on. On the outer corner, blending up into the crease really lightly. Should give it a bit more dimension. And then do the same in the inner corner. Now take what's on my brush still and just blend that outwards. Gradually making it darker. How good are these? That was a bargain. 
Okay, then I'm just going to do the exact same on the other side. I know it looks a bit harsh and weird at the minute, but it will look amazing when it's done. <laughs> back in with the brush I used for my transition. Then I'm going to go back in with the brush I used for my transition shade, which is the Spectrum B06. And just using circular motions, blending it all out together. So we don't have any harsh lines. Whoa, I'm extra clumsy. Should I go in for the kill with a dark shade? Hmm, it's risky business. I can do it though. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this. Mm, it's a really dark, cool toned brown. Practically black, but it's not. It's a cool toned grey brown. I'm just gonna take it on my Spectrum A12 brush. This one's got a lot more fallout than the rest. That's not too bad at all. I'm just going to take that in the very outer corner and in the crease. Okay, that was dramatic. It's not even that pigmented. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with the face shadow brush. So just taking that and just blending really, really lightly over the top of it. Okay, then I'm just going to do the same with the other eye. Okay, just blending lightly over the top of it. But this palette is amazing, look at that! Who'd have thought? That's blended well, well. <laughs> there was a comma in there, well, well. <laughs> okay, that has blended really well. Yes, but that's like as good as like a Morphe palette. I'm not even, no, I think it is. That is really good. But look how good that is. I'm really, really, really impressed. I'm just going to go back in with the shade we started with, which was this warm transition shade. Just a tad. And just sweep, just sweep it over the top. Impressive. Shall I use the gold? They're not gold. So I'm just going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. That's a mouthful. Um, concealer in C3, which I'm nearly out of, but I need a new one. No way it's got it in stock and it's sad. Can you hear that? Emptiness. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on. Back of my hand. And then I'm just going to take my concealer brush, just a flat concealer brush like that. Can you see that? Yep. And then just take it on that. I was about to use that as a mirror. <laughs> That's gonna work. And then I'm just gonna press that on where my crease is. Just lightly. So I know where I need to put it. And then press it down. Do the same on the other eye. Pressing it down. So you've kind of covered the middle. And then just going back in with the brushes I used earlier, just to blend that in so it doesn't just look like I've stuck a random bit of concealer on. Even though I have just done that. A little bit more on top. Right, so now I'm just gonna take this goldy shade here, just on my finger will be the best way. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that on. What? gonna press it on the center where I put that concealer. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, I look like I'm swearing. Pressing that on. That is so pigmented. This palette is amazing and I think everyone should get one. Mum, do you want one? I think you should. Yeah, you shall have mine because I like it. <laughs> then I'm just gonna go back in with the brush I use again just to just lightly in the corners. So it looks seamlessly blended. Right, now I need to just figure out what eyelashes to put on. Okay, so I wasn't gonna do a wing, but I can't live without my wings. So I'm just gonna use the Primark eyeliner, just so I'm keeping the eyes Primark. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe the brush. This is a really bad brush. Hopefully it doesn't turn up. So I'm just gonna draw a line up, draw a line down and connect it. 
Put that down and on the lid. So I'm just going to finish my face off camera and then I'll be back to finish my eyes. Now I've finished my eyes, I'm just going to go in with the... No, no, no. I'm just going to finish my eyes off first. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in with this nudes palette on my eyes. If I can get it open. Okay. So I'm just going to go back in with this palette. And I'm just going to use this shimmery shade here on my little Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to pop that in the inner corner. So my eyes stand out a little bit more. Because I've got really dark brown eyes. Dark. <laughs> okay, so now I've finished the eyes, I'm just going to do my lips and I'm going to use the PS Primark Lip Liner in the shade, what is the shade? Biscuit. Biscuit. In the shade Biscuit and I'm just going to line my lips. Okay, and then now... Fill them in, I'm going to use the Primark Nudes Matte Lipstick in the shade Uncovered, which is also part of their Nudes collection, obviously. And I'm just going to fill in that tail. Ooh, I don't know. It smells funky. It's not pale, one second. I was supposed to get a birthday suit, but I accidentally picked up Uncovered, so... It's a bit pale for me, but that was just 150, which is not bad. I'm just gonna fill it in with this. Go over the top of this liner, just so it doesn't look so dark. So dark, so light. You know, I'm just gonna go over the top with. I'm just gonna use this Primark Peach Oil Lip Gloss, which was 250, but I think I paid a pound for it. I think it was on offer. I'm just gonna go over the top with this. Yeah, that's better. So my thoughts on this palette is it's blooming amazing, blooming, <laughs> blooming amazing. Anyway, holy <laughs> Lincolnshire that is. This palette is a really, really good palette. Like, look how pigmented it is. It's so, so good. I love it, and everyone should buy it because it's only eight pound, and it's really, really good. It's really pigmented. There's not much fallout. It's just really, really good. Really, really, really good. I'd compare it to like a Morphe palette because it's that good. I love it and I'm definitely going to keep using it and I think, yeah if you're near a Primark, get one you won't regret it this is the finished look that I created with it so thank you for watching and please like and subscribe why do I always like it? I don't know oh and this top is from Primark also which is really cute kitty not your honey full pound The same that I did on this side, on this side. <laughs> I was gonna sneeze, it went. So, welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for four weeks because I'm lazy. No, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I've just been gone for four weeks because I've been busy ish. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Nudes <laughs> over the shoulder, smolder.